Hey, how's it going guys? Rulinal here, coming back at you with some more Python tutorials, and we're still looking at GTK. Alright, now this is where we left off. This is where we had a, a little basic window. I can run it. It's just a little main. It's got a title over there, main.python. By default, it's the name of the file. And, uh, yeah, that's all it does. If we close the window, we just get a little information box down here. You click the close button, and uh, that's nice. That's easy for us. But, uh, I want to expand this. So, to kind of keep our things all organized, I'm just going to go ahead and save this as a different file. I'm going to call it basic window, and I'm going to save this one now. I'm going to create a new copy um, called, I'll bring this down, I can show you guys, window centered sized dot python. You can name this whatever you want, obviously, but um, what I'm going to get into is setting up some information. Now, I want to get into um, actually the window uh, function here where we actually create the window variable. What I believe it's doing by default is it's setting up GTK window top level. Now, I believe that's what happens by default. And um, you can see that our name has changed here. I'll resize this window centered sized. To keep things easy, I don't really plan on using this. I just want to let you guys know that I think that's what it's doing. <laughs> but um, next, we're going to actually get into setting the position of the window. Um, we should probably actually change all these variables to be self variables because they're all object oriented. I think that's a good practice. And um, GTK functions we don't have to worry about, but because these are all relative to this object, to this window, Let's just set them as self. Okay. Now, back on the line that I was working at, self.window, what we can run is a function called setPosition. And this is a special function that at the beginning of the program, or at least when it's initialized, because this is all happening at the first start of the program, we can determine where we actually want it. Now, um, setPosition, we can pass in any other GTK constants, like GTK, I don't know, how about window position um, center? And now if I run this, you can see that it immediately popped up in the center of the window. I didn't have to move it into your view because it's right now it's just displaying right there. I can close this and uh, get back here. We can set it as window position center always. And I believe even if you were to resize the window, it's forcing it in the center, no matter what is happening. If you resize the window, it's what it does that anyway. But um, getting it actually to move the window, that is not going to affect it. We can also do center on parent. If we were to run this window, or if we were to create the window outside of another window, it's going to center itself to that window, but that hasn't happened in the code that we're running right now, so that just decreated it anywhere. To keep things easy for us as we're programming, I'm just going to leave this as um, window position center because anytime I just run the program, it will display in your view. So I'll close that out. And um, all right, now I'm going to want to get into setting the size of the window. So whenever you're creating a window, obviously you have to do things according to your windows, your window managers like permission. It, it has to be okay for it to actually do that. Now, I'm on Linux, so I'm running like X11 or something. It might be Unity. Honestly, I don't know the logistics behind all that, but it has to be okay for the window to do that. So, what you can run is set size request. And this function actually takes two integers as arguments for the size that we want it to be. So I'm going to say 320, 240, and I can run this, and there's our window with that size. Awesome. I can set it to be, like, freaking anything. It can be 400, like, 100, make it really, really wide. I can run this. There it is. And uh, that's all you can do. It takes integers, though. It's not a tuple. So that might be different from the way you're used to seeing, like, set size um, functions. There's another one that we can do... Um, set window resize, and I believe this takes a tuple. I don't know for sure. Let's find out. 400, 100. I'll comment out this one. And, uh, no, we're getting an error here. Yeah, it's, it looks like it's asking for integers. 
Let's fix that. You can run this code. Okay, and that works just fine. But the resize function, it's not sending a request. It's not asking the window manager, are you okay with me making this move? D is the screen big enough to actually handle all of these um, these numbers? Can we make uh, a window that actually is like that number by that number tall and wide? We need to be able to make sure that that's doable first. So we should use set size request. That's a better option for us. Okay, if I run this, here's our little window. It's cute, it's adorable, and uh, I think we've covered everything that I wanted to get into in this video. Thank you guys for watching. Very, very simple and easy concepts. Just moving the window at the beginning and changing the size to be whatever we want it to be. Alright, uh, if you're enjoying the series, let me know, leave me a comment. Uh, maybe like the video, maybe subscribe, I don't know. It's whatever you'd like to do. But thank you very much, guys, and I hope to be seeing you in the next tutorial.